for joining us. And now a few words of welcome from the director of the School of Nursing, Dr. Elizabeth Salick. Thank you, Rana. And hello to all of our graduating BSN students and your well-wishers from wherever you are right now. Although we're meeting in this virtual space from a variety of places, I want to begin by acknowledging and honoring the Musqueam Nation on whose traditional, ancestral, unceded territory, the Point Grey campus and our School of Nursing at UBC Vancouver is principally situated. Here with a pre-recorded message of welcome on behalf of the Coast Salish Nations is Elder Roberta Price, now Dr. Roberta Price, who received an honorary degree from UBC this graduating ceremony. Haichka, Haichka OCM, greetings and welcome everyone. I want to share a teaching uh, to start us off in a good way. I have in my hand a cedar headband. I'm going to place it on my head. I have around my neck a cedar necklace. And as uh, taught to me by my elders that when we put on parts of our, our regalia and we carry our sacred items, we're given an indication to our ancestors and the creator that we're gonna share in ceremony. So thank you everyone for listening. I'll start us off now in a good way. Haichka, Haichka CM Siaya, greetings and welcome everyone. As Coast Salish matriarch and elder, I wish to give a very warm thank you to all my relatives on the Musqueam, the Squamish and the Tsleil-Waututh for welcoming me to live in the unceded lands of my relatives, Musqueam and Richmond for 40 years now. As Coast Salish matriarch and elder, I wish to give each and every one a very warm welcome who live, work and play, give and receive service, teach and learn on our ancestral, unceded and occupied lands of my relatives, Musqueam, Squamish, tsleil For each and every one of you out in this very wide virtual circle we're in, the teachings I'd like to offer to you is to take time each week or each day to have reflection and give the honor and thanks to all the ancestors of the lands on which you live, work and play on, give and receive service, teach and learn on. Thank you for listening. OCM. Taking a cue from Elder Roberta, let's pause here for a moment so that you may, using the chat box if you wish, take a moment to reflect upon, name, and honor the elders, the communities, and the host nations on whose traditional lands you may be celebrating with us today. And if you're attending from another country, please do type that in the chat box as well. The nativeland.ca website is a global aid for learning more about the land you wish to acknowledge. And today, I would also like to acknowledge the news that we've had from the Kamloops Indian Residential School about the unmarked graves as a call to further action to take up the truth and reconciliation calls to action as nurses. We're here to celebrate the graduation of a historically noteworthy cohort of students. In the midst of your studies, you were swept into the front lines of a global pandemic and you stepped up. We proudly celebrate your achievements as COVID-19 and its variants continue to affect the planet. We've seldom had a more urgent reason to celebrate the transition of a new group of leaders and scholars into the healthcare workforce. We're celebrating your success and all the hard work you've put in to achieve your degree, yes, but we're also thrilled because this means you're joining us as our alumni and our colleagues. We are so proud of the accomplishments of our family of graduates over the years that you're joining. And like family, we always want to know what you're doing. So no news is too big or too small. Please keep in touch through the avenues available to our alumni on our website. And we encourage you to celebrate nursing with us in person at our gala held every year during nursing week as one of our most popular alumni events, along with the Miriam Woodward lecture in the fall, the Edge Festival in the spring and more throughout the year. I'm also celebrating because the Board of Governors provided uh, recently a, a additional um, a next phase of the development of a new home for the School of Nursing at the northwest corner of University Boulevard and Westbrook Mall. Because of its placement at the gateway to the university, this will be a statement building. 
This is our chance to achieve our goal of creating, for the first time on this campus, a state-of-the-art space designed specifically for nursing research, education, and healthcare. We'll share this space, the Gateway Health Building as it's called so far, with the Integrated Student Health Clinic and Wellness Center, with the School of Kinesiology, and a few others, built with leading standards of environmental sustainability and designed in relationship with the Musqueam people. As you might expect, it's a huge enterprise and an equally huge investment by the university in the work of the School of Nursing. If all continues to, according to schedule, we actually look forward to moving to the new building in the fall of 2024. This building will be ready for you to continue your education, which I really must take a moment to encourage. Our urgent need to nurture and develop a growing cadre of expert nurses cannot be overstated. If we're to educate more nurses, we'll also need more nurse educators. However, PhD prepared nurses are retiring faster than new ones are graduating. Although I'm really glad this year to celebrate four students graduating with PhDs from our school. We need masters prepared and PhD prepared nursing educators, especially as the government will be expanding nursing programs across BC and other provinces. So do give thought to joining us again for the next stage of your career. But I'm getting ahead of myself. First, let's acknowledge this is current step in your career. In order to recognize each and every one of you and make this moment as special as we possibly can, we prepared this presentation as a virtual crossing the stage as I read each of the names of our graduates. I invite all our guests to join me in congratulating our BSN nursing students. Tanner Allen. Emily Amaral. Sarah Armstrong. Monica Ann Valentin Falci. Kayla Barker. Saiba Bath. Leanne Belcourt. Debbie Bessieu. Lauren Blackburn. Paula Borba. Austin Bruce. Megan Bruce. Louise Bunce. Alec Case. Carly Cater. Ji Su Choi. Laurel Chuelos. Rachel Crowther. James Curtis. Larissa Chernick. Katie Dalrymple. Ruth Davison. Sue Ann Derun. Supriya Dillon. Jen Diedrich.
Golsar Darudi. Dana Fitzgerald. Claire Frampton. Cynthia Fung. Christine G. Natalie Gould. Haley Gray. Steph Hancock. Kaylee Hanawick. Jonathan ha Jonah Harms. Tara Harms. Jenny He. Bailey Hemingway. Allie Hicks. Carolyn Hicks. Kun Yi Hu. Michelle Huang. Katie Jacoby. Alexis Zhang. Kathy Jiang. Ivy Zhao. Alexander Jimenez. Maya Joseph. Vida Jovanovic. Jennifer Young. Lily Kanamori. Esther Kim. Candice Claussen. Edwin Ko. Connie Q. Kiana Lalonde. Ali Lamont Caputo. Caleb Lalor. Monica Lay. Samantha Lowe. Brianna Luck. Elsa McDonald. Sanjeev Mahal. Parmeet Mangat. B. 
B. Marquick. Manisha Matthew. Gabrielle McCarthy. Kelsey McEntee. Lena O. Farah Omar. Nicole Ong. Maxine Owers. Aman Parmar. Kaylin Rose Pavelka. Nina Payne. Ekaterina Perlova. Georgia Plasteres. Marisa Prado. Simran Purewal. Emma Pusto. Brittany Kwan. Zara Rajwani. Morel Reed. Jake Resnick. Jeevan Riar. Adam Robinson. Muska Safi. Mark Sinajan. Duke Sheen. Rachel Scheinfeld. Courtney Shepherd. Zoe Shipley. Jennifer Slater. Aaron Spraggs. Caitlin Sterndale Bennett. Christian Tam. Mo Taiban Hamadani. Eric Thompson. Michaela Tinkham. Jennifer Tran. Chantelle Van Nostern. Riley Vandermeulen. John Mark Villanueva. Jesse Von Floto. Alice Huang.
Ida Yuan Yi Wang. Zoe Wang. Ellen Wu. Belinda Yang. Avery Zacharias. Lan Wei Michelle Zheng. Congratulations, graduates. Now I'd like to introduce the Associate Director of our undergraduate programs, Elsie Tan, to announce the awards for this spring convocation. Thank you, Elizabeth. And I believe I also have uh, some greeting words to the class before the awards. So thank you, um, Elizabeth, for the introduction. So good afternoon, 2019 cohort, class of 2021, and family and friends, faculty and staff. Because we can't be celebrating in person, you'll see in the background the Chan Center where you would have been normally be, be convocating on the beautiful land of the Musqueam, Coast Salish, and the Stalo Tooth. To the class of 2021, congratulations on your graduation, and I'm most delighted to be able to be here to say a few words. Pivot, unprecedented, safety, infection control, online learning, synchronous, asynchronous, discussion groups, turn on your camera, please. Technical glitches. What, online exams? Face-to-face -face labs? Have you completed your COVID self-assessment test? Competencies, PPEs, sound familiar? This was a year ago when the COVID-19 pandemic was declared in mid-March and you were one and a half terms into the program. While all health profession programs at UBC suspended their programs, nursing continued to deliver what we set out to do. Faculty in five days converted their classes and exams to online. We had a town hall with the director to answer your questions. You received endless messages from me and Gertie and from your faculty to help keep you informed. You asked many, many questions. Your NUS worked closely with the school to keep each other informed. You persevered, you adjusted, you adapted, and you were patient with us. Within 10 days of the pandemic declaration, our teaching team was replanning your summer and subsequent terms with the aim that you graduate as scheduled. And here we are. We're so proud of your capacity to learn, practice, and be successful in the midst of what seems like chaotic, daunting, and unpredictable times. I invite you to take a moment to thank you, uh, to thank your faculty and their effort and contributions in ensuring you graduate as planned. And of course, without saying, the staff that supports the work of the school. I asked faculty for one word to describe this class, and yes, there's always more than one word. Resilient, resilience, patience. Pivot, meaning adapt and improve. You have surpassed all expectations during very difficult times. Such a pleasure to teach and nurture. You have gone through turbulent and ever-changing times and moving forward successfully. Resilient, inspiring, courageous for all that have lived, balanced, and accomplished. Once in a lifetime opportunity, brackets, rapid testing site at UBC. Courage, flexible, engaging in rapid testing in the midst of a pandemic. What a contribution to society's health. Thank you. My final words again, congratulations. Be safe, go be the leaders to impact change, and remember us, the UBC School of Nursing, and we hope to see you one day back in the new facility. 
Thank you, everybody. So it's now my pleasure to announce this year's BSN graduating class awards. And here are the first recipients. First to the Helen Belfour Prize, a prize of $700 made possible by the bequest from the late Helen L. Belfour is awarded to the student obtaining highest standing in the final year of the degree of BSN. The recipient, Esther Kim. Congratulations. Next is the Dell and Dell Johnson Memorial Prize in Nursing. And Kathy Abahoy is with us on Zoom. It's a $1,200 prize made available through an endowment established by Kathy Abahoy who graduated BSN 1975 and MSN 1999, a retired faculty member of the UBC School of Nursing. This award is to the graduating student who receives the overall top grade in the Bachelor of Science in the Nursing program. This prize was established in honor of Kathy's parents, Dell and Dell Johnson, who both deeply valued education and in memory of Kathy's classmate, Laura Lynn McBain. 1952 to 2006, who achieved top marks in the BSN class of 1975. This prize is made on the recommendation of the school. Congratulations, Christine G. The next award is the Mac Hickling Prize in Sexual Health Education and Development. Two prizes of $800 each have been endowed by friends and colleagues in honor of Meg Hickling, an RN, to recognize her 27 years of service to individuals, families, and the community as a self sexual health educator. The prizes are offered to students completing the fourth year of a Bachelor of Science in Nursing, who have achieved high standing in at least three courses in the community health and education, covering topics such as family studies, community health, women's health, children and childbearing, and principles of education. The awards are made on the recommendation of the School of Nursing. The, re the recipients for this year's award are Vida Jovanovic and Maya Joseph. Congratulations. Thank you, Kathy, and she's right there with us. <laughs> the Undergraduate Nursing Society Leadership Award, up to three awards totaling $1,350 are, are, are offered by the Nursing Undergraduate Society to graduating students of the May cohort who are dedicated to the nursing profession and have strived to improve the school life environment of UBC School of Nursing students through volunteer activity. Candidates are nominated by their fellow students through the Awards and Scholarship Committee of the School of Nursing. Recipients this for this year are Golzar Darudi, Ali Hicks, and Connie Koo. Congratulations to the recipients and well done. I will now hand the baton back to Rana. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Tan. Thank you for those lovely words of greeting and for our awards, recommendations, and recognitions. I'm going to stop the recording now because we've come to the end of our formal program.